Good morning! I hope you all are doing super, super amazing today. I am broadcasting today to talk about how we used to be when we were little. Do you remember what we did when we were little? We played, we created, and we laughed. Did you know that children laugh 400 times a day and we as adults laugh 15 times a day? We have lost 385 laughs during every day of our life because we have allowed society to change us. When we were small, we lived in the moment and we enjoyed every second. Every second was about what in the world was happening right now. As an adult, we don't live in the moment. We're constantly either dreading the past or worrying about the past or dreading the future and it's taking away our living in the moment. Our constant social media is taking away living in the moment. Stack those phones and enjoy your loved ones. I just came off of a weekend spending time with like-minded people. Lots of people wonder what in the world I'm talking about when I say that. But we had 14 women, 14 coaches in one condo and every single one of us Loved everybody all the time. Can you imagine if we did that on a world scale? If everyone just loved everyone all the time and didn't knock people for our differences and just loved our uniqueness, every single one of us? When we were children, we would try and fail and try and fail and try and fail and we never let anyone stop us. When you're a kid and you crawl and you're trying to learn to walk, you fall down, you hurt yourself, you cry, but you get back up. And then guess what? Your parents cheer. Yay, you did great. And we love that we got cheered for. So then when we try again, we try again, and we try to walk, and we fall down, and we hit our head, and we cry, but our parents were still so happy for us because we tried. Even though we were failing, we kept getting back up and getting back up and getting back up and trying until we finally succeeded. Did any of us ever go, oh, I fell that so many times, I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna walk. I'm not gonna walk, I'm just gonna crawl for the rest of my life. Of course not. Everyone eventually tries so hard that we succeed and then everyone cheers for us. Everyone does. All the adults are like, yay, we post videos, our kid is walking, yay. That is just what we should do in life every single day. Put it on a grander scale. Do it with your education, do it with your job, do it with whatever dream you have that you want to succeed at. You keep trying until you make it. You don't keep, you don't give up. Never, ever, ever give up. The other way that you, you get to do this is you have to surround yourself only by people who lift you higher. Because if you are constantly being criticized by people who you think are your friends, if they're constantly putting you down or, or saying you can't or saying that this is not for you and I can't believe you're gonna do that or whatever, please think about who you are listening to. Consider that source. Are they on this earth to lift you higher and make you as successful as you can be? If you are not surrounded by those kind of people, the people who see big and dream big, if you're surrounded by someone who's constantly going, ooh, I don't think you should wear those pants, those don't look good on you, or wow, I, you know, those are, th those are a little, I don't know, you're too old for that, what? We're not too old, we're not too young, we're not too fat, we're not too skinny. We're just perfect the way we are. And if you can surround yourself by people who accept all of our uniqueness and special qualities, then that is when you really get to experience living. And those people are the ones who are clapping for your success, just like your mom and dad did when you walked for the very first time. So get out of your own way. Are you constantly sabotaging yourself in every little thing? Maybe in losing weight, maybe in getting a new job or a new education, or is it, is it you that's constantly knocking you down? Because if it is, please evaluate how those thoughts got into your subconscious. Because I'm willing to bet that when you were born, you were born 100% for greatness and somehow, over the years, every little piece of negativity that got put into this beautiful brain inside you has suddenly sucked you down and made you settle. 
So don't settle for one more day. Get back up again right now. Get back into living in the moment, creating, laughing, and loving everybody all the time because that is where the world is peaceful and awesome and accepting and amazing. We are not in this to have friends to win or be competitive with them. Let me tell you, when I was just with all these 14 people, not one of us was competitive, not one of us was jealous. We all were just so thankful we had each other and we lifted each other up and we wanted to help every single one of us become successful. That is the kind of people you wanna be with. You don't wanna be with someone who's constantly in competition because that gets you absolutely nowhere. We are on this journey for ourselves. We are not on this journey to beat that person or beat that person or beat that person. If that is your mentality, then please start reading personal development and figure out your actual purpose in life. So as of today, please try to play more, create more, and laugh more. Laugh as much as we did when we were kids, and when you fall, get back up again. And Sophie agrees, and she's in her cute little pink tutu to match my lipstick today. All right, I love you all. Have an amazing, awesome, fabulous day.